Share this article tweet Gabe at Choke in November 7, 2017 Mostly known for off-road machines, Husqvarnage end up more interested its burgeoning street line by displaying its Savart Pile and 701 Scrambler concept at the Milan ICMA show on November 7, 2017. It's still just a concept, but it's eye-catching and exciting for fans of edgy, simple, fun Toride Street Bias Thumpers. Is it a motocross or a scrambler a cafe racer? Yes. No. Wait, um, just ride the thing. Is it a scrambler or a flat tracker? I'm not sure. Husqvarna calls this a Varth pile and Black Arrow in Swedish a dark street explorer. It doesn't need to be pigeonholed or categorized, it just needs to be ridden, say at the press release. Okay, it looks like fun, basically the same bike as the Vitflin 701 White Arrow, but with cast wheels in front, an 18-incher in the bow and a 17-incher at the stern. Other details include Brembo brakes with abs, minimal instrumentation there's a knob on the triple clamp that reads pull to start, but no clocks and flat track style seat bars and tail. Both wheels are covered by tires, explains the press release, which gives you an idea of how light it is on the deets. Check out the photos, though, and you can see some cool touches that may or may not make it to the Prati model, like the LED headlamp, Alcantara seat and Gatling gun style exhaust. I'm a little confused as to why this bike is NT production ready like the Vitflin 701, or its little brothers, the Savart Pylon and Vitflin 401s. All the bikes use KTM components, just put together in that cool, edgy, Swedish long winter in ash kind of way. We love the big thumpers here at Mao, so we're looking forward to our first ride. Husqvarna, a KTM brand, is ramping up production, with 30,700 units sold in 2016 a 46% increase over the previous year. The hope is the Savart Pylons and Vidflins will make inroads into the global street motorcycle market. Cool Gatlin gun muffler evokes flat track. The rider will have a minimalist experience, with little motorcycle blocking her view of the road. Follow the rest of our 2017 EICMA show coverage.